all of our roasters are uh, manually operated, mm -hmm. so there's actually a person standing next to it each time we need to roast. Um, the, the detail and, and the style of the roast is down to the person, not the machine. So there is a set procedure to it, but um, it's a trained hand. It's not a, you know, it's not it's not any donkey just standing there doing it. It's, it's somebody that really knows what they're doing and really cares about what they're doing. You need to have an intrinsic knowledge of, of what roasting is and how how it is. Um, we use recipes and profiles the same as you would when you when you're cooking um, or baking bread. It's the same sort of thing. For us to do blending is uh, consistency mainly, so we can have one line of coffee that runs year on year and we can maintain our, our flavour profiles. So if we, we have seasons obviously and if one coffee runs out and there's only one coffee and we change it, there'll be a noticeable step in the flavour profile. But if we've got a, a three bean blend, which is our most common blend, or sometimes two, then we can change one of the coffees and have a component stable and overlap them as the seasons go, as the new crops come in, and the flavour profile is maintained more steadily. We try and just do a good job right across the board, and source, sourcing the coffee is, is the first hurdle and the most important hurdle. Finding the right coffee, paying the right price, working with, working with people that that have amazing farms and do a great job um, and having continued projects basically and continued relationships and, and growing slowly with those guys. People want to know what it is and why it is and who did it and to know that we have to go and see.